Uh, welcome to new Selfish OS podcast and this time around it's all about the Xperia 10 Plus or the Xperia XA2 and installing a special flat bag that allows you to use Telegram on your device and not any Telegram application, the native Linux application running on Selfish OS. So let's get started. So here's the thing. I SSH'd into my Sailfish Xperia 10 device and the thing that I can do now is if you watched my uh, last video on how to install Flatpak on Sailfish OS I can just type in Flatpak and then search for uh, Telegram and it will come up with the Telegram clients available and uh, as you can see here there's an official Telegram client the Telegram desktop client for Linux which has the application ID org.telegram I copy this there's another one as well but we want to use this one and what I type in is in this case flatback install and then just this org.telegram one and it will then look for matches and will ask if I really want to install this one I say yes and it found an ARM stable build of the Telegram desktop client. I say yes. And as you can see here, in this case, it tells me it's already installed. In your case, it might say there are some dependencies it needs to fetch. You can say yes again, it will take a while, and then it will install everything. So this is basically the installation process, which is pretty much very straightforward, I would say. So let's take a look at the device itself and the newly installed Telegram application. We take a look at the installed application. So in my applications, uh, there should be now under the flat pack runner, there should be now a new application. As you can see here, Telegram desktop, and I can click on this and I can set some uh, settings here. I will, I think, use the same settings that I use here for Angelfish, like free in terms of. Override scaling factor. Now I can override the scaling factor. I want to use free here, and uh, yeah, I think this should be it. Let's check. Override DPI is 119. Maybe I should change this as well to 120. Yeah. So this is how I usually do it when I test out stuff. Uh, let's do 120, roughly. Hit apply. And what we can do now is, of course, then run the application itself. And here you can see Telegram uh, desktop client. I can just click on it and we'll see what will happen. So it's starting up now and hopefully we can see. Yes, there it is. Start messaging. Can click on this and have to log in. It's a bit of smallish, and you can see maybe you can try tuning it a bit. Go in here, make the DPI a bit higher, make the scaling factor maybe four. Hit apply again, try it again, and see how it will look like. I think this looks way better now. Start messaging and now you can see I have the option to log in. So let me log in. And this is now how the Telegram client looks like after I successfully logged in. I used the QR code and used another device to scan in and to log in here or I can also use the phone number if I like to but this was the easiest way for me. I'm now in the Safish S fan club so I'm not uh, showing any privacy violation information here. Uh, you can see it is a pretty nice application almost everything is working here. If I want to write a text I can type in here but you can see the keyboard will pop up and I don't have the possibility to see what I'm typing in here which is a bit of a bummer. When it comes to other things like uh, commands, of course, I have the option to enter them here as well. And of course, I also have the option to uh, the option to send a smiley or uh, stickers or gifts if I want to. 
What is not working is this uh, microphone button. Nothing will happen if I tap on this. And even if I hold it, release, test, 1, 2, 3, test. Uh, it cannot work because it has no microphone access. When it comes to attaching files and folders, also not working because I can tap here and nothing happens. You can also press and hold and nothing will happen because there is no access to the file system from within flat packs, which is still an issue, I would say. The same goes for notifications. I can still see notifications here and if we go back, you would also see the notifications. But you can see I have six unread messages. They are not integrated into Safish Air, so I don't see them here in my device itself. As you can see here, no new notifications popping up. I have some search options and of course the options to view, group information, enable notifications, create a poll, export chat history, clear the history or leave the group. Also I have the option of course to uh, answer, to uh, reply or forward messages as you can see. And uh, replying is a bit harder to do because you have to have the mouse cursor in there, in this case an invisible one, then the reply button will turn up and you can hit reply to reply. There are of course some options that you can set, like for example I have now set the dark theme here, uh, which allows me, or my camera, better to expose everything here, otherwise the white theme would be a bit too uh, harsh for my camera to expose it here. But you have some options that you can set. And uh, it is a good alternative, I would say, if the native client as an as a basically an extension for the native client, because the native client has better support when it comes to Safish address, uh, address integration, like uh, notifications and sounds even. Uh, but it has some limits when it comes to searching or adding people to your contact list. And I think this native client. Also running in Flatpak is a good alternative for all those uh, ported devices that don't have the uh, possibility to run the Android application of, te of the Telegram client because there's no Android support for their ported SafeJS devices. So this might be a good alternative for them. Otherwise, yeah, it lacks here and there a few features. So I'm not so fond of using it, but it is one of the, it's a native application and it's one of the most feature rich application because it's the official Telegram client and yeah this is basically everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you liked it otherwise ask some questions in the comments section and uh, thanks for watching until the next time bye